Okay, it's been a long time since I've done a video where I am actually like looking at you live in a house or someone's house or whatever. I got this grandiose idea that I often get these grandiose ideas and I thought to myself, this would be good. I'm going to do a video to talk about the food that I had when I was last in Atlanta. So I did what I call this 10 day um, reunion tour in Atlanta. And um, it was basically a friend tour and a food tour because almost every day I was visiting friends that I haven't seen in years. And I was going to mostly restaurants that I haven't been to before with a couple of exceptions. I didn't think about this until it was time for me to leave. I don't have videos of the food, but I have pictures of most of the food. So there's 10 restaurants that I want to talk about and I grouped them up into like what kind of cuisine they are. So, you know, one set is Latin, one set is Southern, one set is Caribbean, and one set is American. First up is Latin. Um, went to a few different Mexican restaurants. Almost every restaurant that I went to, I went with one of my friends. So it was either their recommendation or, you know, something that I just wanted to try. And plus I got to practice my Spanish a bit. I am a digital nomad uh, going back and forth from Colombia in South America. So um, that's one of the fastest ways for me to find people that speak Spanish is to go to a Mexican restaurant. So the first one I'll mention is called Terraza's Bar and Grill. It's in Johns Creek in Gwinnett County. I didn't have anything super specially fancy here. I just had, uh, I ordered a chimichanga and a mojito. It was a flavored mojito. Can't remember what the flavor was, but they had about seven flavors. I probably couldn't go wrong. It was good Mexican food, and it was a place that my friend Erica had suggested that we go. Um, I interviewed Erica J for a podcast a couple years ago, and I already knew her, but I interviewed her, she agreed, and since then she's been flourishing, been so successful, had another baby, got married, all the things. So I'm really proud of her, but I'd never met her before in person. So that's where we went and um, she wrote it off. The second of the three Mexican restaurants I went to was called La Fonda, but actually I went to that one the first day. These are not in any particular order when I went or what I think of them, but I'll tell you what I thought of them. So La Fonda was also great. I think there are three or four locations around the metro area, but I went to a newer one that is um, off of Hosea Williams Drive in East Atlanta off of I-20. And it's a small little cute building. I had Paella Maduros, which is the sweet plantains, and a mojito, of course. And what I really think stood out about their Paella, because I made my own and different variations, there's all different ways to make it. It had a vegetarian one, um, obviously no meat, no seafood whatsoever. They had the seafood paella one, which is the one that I had, which was friggin' amazing. And then there was also a regular one, like a meat-based one. And I would definitely go back and I recommend it. The third Latin restaurant I went to is called Chido, 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 Chido and Padres. And that, that was on East Andrews Drive in Buckhead. Um, I actually went to a restaurant like next to it with my friend and she was, you know, going to a meetup, so they said it was okay that I come with them, and so we had drinks at the one, and then went over to Chido and Padres, and what we found was that um, the food was good, the drinks were really good, um, but a couple of the fish items seemed to be very expensive for what you got on the plate, so one of my, my friend had to send hers back and say, let me get something else, because this little bit of fish right here ain't worth $30. So just watch, you know, what you're ordering and stuff like that. We went after five, so it was dinner time. And so not only did I have a mojito, but I also had a watermelon margarita that was freaking amazing. It was like really, 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 really good if you like watermelon. If I was going to rate all three of these restaurants, these Latin restaurants, I would say La Fonda for the win. All right, next I'm jumping over to American. And this first one, I actually... Did not think to take a picture of anything. I don't know why. It's called Forum Cocktail, and it's off of 75, the Howell Mill Road exit, and then you turn on Chattahoochee, and then you turn on Chattahoochee Row. So it's not real hard to find, but it is new. That was something that was not there when I was living in Atlanta. So it was cool to also visit this place, but it's very, very foo-foo, pinky up. Um, expensive. It wasn't a place that I was going to have a meal. But the one thing that I did eat there was their um, chocolate chip cookie brownie thing. It was amazing. I pretty much inhaled it within five minutes. It was really good. And then 
later on, I went to the next place I'm going to talk about, which is Yard House. And Yard House is at the Battery, um, which is a new area that they built next to or within the baseball stadium area, um, which used to be called SunTrust Park when I was there, but now it's called Truist Park. And so Yard House was new to me, even though I've seen them around, I'm pretty sure it's a chain. Um, never had the stuff that I had there. I think I had like a trend going on for the whole time I was in Atlanta where I was eating macaroni and cheese every other day and it wasn't even planned. Um, so this is one of the places that I had macaroni and cheese. It's really good. It had all kinds of meats in it. My friend that was with me is vegetarian or vegan, so she wasn't interested at all. But I mean, it had bacon, the sauce was delicious, seasoning was perfect. And um, this is not a beer in this picture. It's a, it's a hard cider and it was flavored with pineapple. So it looks like a beer, but it was hard cider and it was still good. My third and last American restaurant is Marietta Diner. I don't really have a lot to say about Marietta Diner except that I just keep coming back. Uh, I went there a lot. When I lived there, I used to live near um, where the battery is now and not too far from Marietta Diner, which is on Cobb Parkway going north. The assortment of cakes they have out of this world. I love diners, period, but this was a great place to come back to. And normally I have breakfast food, but this time I switched it up. Somebody, maybe my daughter or someone pointed out that there was roast duck on the menu and I said, duck? Because duck is really good. If you've never had duck, it's, um, it doesn't taste just like chicken. The meat is darker and thicker, but it is very delicious. The skin is very thick and fatty. So if you like skin, that's a great thing. If not, it's easy to cut it off. Um, but it's delicious. So I had like a half a duck and um, my daughter had some of it too. It's hard for me to find that on menus. So I'm really surprised that it was at Marietta Diner. I don't know if it was always there, but you won't go wrong with it. Which of the three did I like the most of these American? Marietta Diner, just because it's just so versatile and they have the best cakes. Did I say that they have a lot of cakes? They have a great assortment of cakes. All right, two more categories, Caribbean and Southern, okay? So Caribbean, um, the first one that I ordered from, didn't take a picture of it. It was this very, 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 very spicy jerk pasta, uh, jerk chicken pasta that I got from Kingston Caribbean. This is the front of Kingston Caribbean, I believe. I got it off of Google, never went inside, ordered it off of Uber Eats, and um, I don't have any problems with that, so hey, you know, if you like really, really spicy jerk, they're going to hook you up. It took me like three separate eating sessions to get through it because that strong jerk or pepper or whatever it was, it just, no matter what I drank, it was just so, like, so much. Other place that I went uh, with two of my friends is called Escoviches, and it was great. It was small. It was in Snellville in the shopping center. It's like... Not super obvious what's going on with it. I don't even know what that word means. Not, uh, I don't know if it's Spanish or Caribbean. I don't, I don't know what's going on with that, but the food was amazing. I had the oxtails. I had the rice. I had uh, broccolini and carrots. I had, and I tell you, I was eating some of that rice just as is out the bowl because it was buttery and, and perfectly cooked. Um, and then later on the next day, I was, I combined the rest of my oxtails with the rice and it was equally as good, but yeah, I think that that was amazing. And um, the appetizer, which I almost forgot to mention, is the uh, jerk chicken plantains. A lot of cheese on that. That was good. I was able to handle that much better than the uh, jerk chicken pasta that I had at um, uh, from Kingston Caribbean. For me, it's Escoviches for the win. Final category, Southern. Hello, I'm in Georgia. How am I not going to have some Southern food? Like, that's... That's numero uno, okay? Rule numero uno. Only two restaurants here. The first one is, the first one is How Crispy Express, and the second one is Old Lady Gang, Candy Burris Restaurant. So, the How Crispy Express, I never heard of them before, but uh, my Airbnb host said, if you just walk down to the end of the block, there's this little ice cream spot, there's this, there's that. Yeah, How Crispy it was pretty damn crispy. Um, I had the you know, the famous chicken sandwich, whatever it's called. There's a picture of it right here. And famous chicken. And it's got like the sesame sauce on it that was really good, kind of unique. And they had coleslaw on the bun and everything. I told them to hold the pickles because 
I just never got with that whole thing of a fried chicken sandwich with pickles. Like, I don't understand how pickles belong on chicken. But we're going to have, you can have that debate in the comments if you like. They have stools inside, but it's not really a sit-down place. It's mostly like a grab-and-go place, even though you can sit, but there's no tables. The next place was the place I went the day after. I was at a conference called Invest Fest that was at the Georgia World Congress Center. So I just walked about maybe 12 to 15 minutes that one, to me, that was walking distance, even though it was hot Atlanta that day. Um, so, yeah, I'm glad I went when I did. It was probably around six something. And when I started walking, um, a friend of mine that I had not met in person yet, but I knew of her and wanted to connect with her, she texted me and she was just like, where are you at? I'm about to leave this AI panel, da 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 da, da. I'm like, oh, I'm on my way to Old Lady Gang. So she met me over there and I waited. While I was waiting in the restaurant, uh, I told the host I was waiting for a friend, but then like maybe, you know, she said, I'm, I'm going to walk. I'm not going to Uber. So it's going to be a minute. I said, can I go sit at the bar? And the host was like, you know, like almost kind of had an attitude. I don't know. Didn't even give me eye contact. He was like, um, you could sit at the bar, but you have to order something. And I'm like, I don't know when in the history of ever I've sat at a bar and not ordered something like. I don't just, I'm not sitting at the bar instead of the waiting area. They're right there. Like, and, and mind you, there was only one person sitting at the bar. It wasn't full. There was one person before I got over there. Once I got over there, waited another five minutes. Then that same guy comes over and asks me what I want to drink and drink and serves me a drink. I'm like, okay, it's all good. I was in a good mood. I was happy. Went ahead, um, got seated when my friend arrived and we had this wonderful meal. She had the French toast with fried chicken. I don't know, I guess, I don't know what they call it because it's not chicken and waffles, but whatever that is, it was French toast and fried chicken wings. And I had the wonderful Riley shrimp and grits. Um, one of the best that I've ever had. They put their foot in that and a little cornbread muffin. Oh, that was perfect. Um, now, when I left, by the way, the drink that I had at the bar was pretty stiff. I just ordered an amaretto sour. I like, I'm a lightweight. I like cocktails and sweet drinks. So it was a little more um, amaretto than sour. It was the good thing I wasn't um, driving anywhere. So when we were about to leave, there were two ladies that were in the, the waiting area. And I had seen them earlier before at the, at the World Congress Center. And I asked them how their day went and if they liked, you know, the panels and all that stuff. We were most we were mostly in the same room anyway, thousands and thousands of people. Um, and then I showed a picture of the shrimp and grits that I just showed you. And one of the ladies was like, oh, that looks really good. Now, the next day, when I went into InvestFest and I entered the building and stuff and went down the escalators, lo and behold, I like walked right into them. And I was just like, oh my gosh, hey. <laughs> and um, the lady that you know, I showed the shrimp and grits too. She said she ordered that, but they had a ter they had terrible service. It was like at that point after seven thirty, eight o'clock. There are lots and lots of people coming in, so I suspect that's part of it. But um, she said like it was hard to, you know, she didn't even get her cornbread till the end of the meal or whatever. I don't know. I'm not gonna complain, but it's like, you know, slow service is a thing that I heard about this restaurant. I just don't know which location. I was at Castleberry Hill. I had good service, um, but maybe it's just because I caught them at the right time. I don't know. For that trip and grits, all I did was just take the, the red peppers off the top because I don't do peppers like that. I don't even do the green ones. I don't do the yellow. I don't do any color. No peppers. Candy and I are the same age. Our daughters are the same age. And at, this, at the time we were raising them, we were single mothers. So um, we have that in common, but I think it's really cool that, you know, everything on the menu was named after, you know, someone in her family and that her mom and her aunt's um, recipes are being used. So that's really nice. So that's it. Thanks for bearing with me as I stumble through trying to remember stuff about this food and hopefully I'll pay better attention next time since I'm going back in a couple weeks. If you want to hear my impressions of InvestFest, watch this next video. Let me know what you think or watch this one and see for yourself from some of the clips that I took.